Hello everyone, welcome to another GitHub Actions tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to use GitHub Actions in order to automate Docker image creation and then push the Docker image into Docker Hub. If you look at this diagram, let's say that you are a DevOps engineer, you are working with the development team. Uh, the development team is committing their source code into GitHub. Let's say that that project is based on Spring Boot Java application and your responsibility is to create a CACD pipeline using GitHub Actions in order to create the Docker image, you know, push the Docker image into Docker Hub. So how will you actually do that? That's exactly what we are going to talk about in this short video. So if you look at the implementation steps, we are going to create access token in Docker Hub. Using this access token, GitHub Actions would be able to authenticate with Docker Hub. And then we are going to create secrets uh, for access token as well as for Docker Hub username as well. And then we are going to go ahead and then create our GitHub Actions workflow AML file. And we are going to add tasks for building the Spring Boot jar file using Maven and also to build the Docker image, tag the Docker image, and then we are going to log in into Docker Hub. And then finally, we are going to push the Docker image into Docker Hub in our workflow AML file. And then we are going to go ahead and run our workflow AML file. We are going to use GitHub hosted runner, preferably Ubuntu, but again, you can use any Linux based uh, uh, you know, runner, not a problem. And then we are going to go ahead and verify whether our Docker image has been uploaded into Docker Hub or not. Great. So let's get started, guys. Folks, this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. Uh, if you look at the prerequisite, yes, we need to have Docker Hub account created. So this is my Docker Hub account. I'm already logged in. And then we also need to have our Java project configured in GitHub. So if you click on here, that is going to take you back here. So this is the Spring Boot Java application, which we are actually going to use. Uh, again, this is a very simple Spring Boot Java application. If you actually see here, this is my palm.xml file where, you know, I'm going to build a Spring Boot jar file and uh, you can see this would be the jar file name. Okay. So pretty straightforward. And then I also have a Docker file created here as well. So this is my Docker file. So using this, we are going to build the Docker image. Okay. And then this is the Spring Boot jar file. Okay. Perfect. And then we need to go ahead and then create the access token. So let's get started, right? I think let's start with the creating access token in Docker Hub first. So go into Docker Hub and click on your profile name and then go to my profile. Actually, no, go to my account and go to security. And then this is where we are going to go ahead and then create access token. I already have one, but anyway, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go ahead and then create a new one. So click on new access token and then you can give any name. And if you see here, I would prefer to use read, write and delete. But again, right, uh, depending on your use case, you can you can give access. But um, since we are going to upload our Docker image from GitHub Actions, so you need to provide write access, isn't it? So I'm going to give all these options. So let's click on generate. So this is our access token. So let's go ahead and then copy the access token. We need to go to GitHub Actions in order to create a secret. Let me go to settings and secrets. Go to actions. If you actually see here, I have already uh, you know created the secret, but I'm going to go ahead and then override that. Okay. So you need to create a secret with this name. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to overwrite my secret. Perfect. And then we also need to create another secret where we are going to go ahead and then add our username, Docker Hub username. So that is actually nothing but, so this is my username, right? So go ahead and then override that. Perfect. So we have two secrets created as part of our repository in GitHub. Very good. So let's go back to the instructions. So we took care of that. We also created uh, secrets as well uh, in GitHub Actions. Very good. 
So now we can go ahead and then create our CACD workflow ML file. So let me go back to the repository, go to action, click on new workflow. I don't have anything created. Uh, again, if you want, you can search here. Uh, you, you can see here, right? Build a Docker image, deploy. Uh, but again, I wanted to customize my uh, workflow ML file. So I'm going to click on set a workflow yourself. Okay, so this is where we need to go ahead and then create our workflow AML file. So I have already simplified the entire AML file. So let me go ahead and then copy and paste and then I'm going to explain one by one, okay? So let me copy this. So if you see here guys, you know, this is the name of the workflow. Okay, and then of course my branch name is master. So I'm going to leave it like that. And then this is my job. I want to run it on Ubuntu latest. So that is going to be the runner name. Okay. And then these are the steps. I wanted to check out the code and this is a Java based uh, application. So we need to set up JDK on our runner. I, I would like to use uh, Java 17. And then this particular task is for building the jar file. And then if you see here, this is mainly for logging into Docker Hub. So this is where we are reading our secrets. You can see here, right? This is a secret what we are reading uh, from secrets. And then finally, uh, this particular task is going to build the Docker image and then push the Docker image. If you see here, uh, the way this is going to uh, build is obviously, you know, I'm also, uh, you know, this is a variable for tagging the Docker image. Okay, so this will be like really dynamic every time it builds a Docker image. And if you see here, this is the username, which I am actually reading from a secrets. Okay. And if you see here, the way I'm going to build it is, uh, you know, obviously, right. You need to pass the username as part of, uh, you know, building a Docker image, especially if you are pushing into Docker hub, you need to, uh, have uh, your username and that has to be a lower case. I actually forgot to update you guys. If you are creating a username in Docker hub, it has to be, everything is like a lower case. Okay. And this is how I wanted to build the Docker image. And then if you see the next uh, command, this is the one which is actually going to go ahead and then push the Docker image into Docker Hub. Again, we are, I'm also using the image tag, which is dynamically created. So that's it, right? So that's all. So let me go ahead and then commit this file. Docker Hub. Commit changes. Wonderful. So if I go into actions, there you go. So right now it is actually in the process of running the build. So right now it is in the process of setting up JDK 17. It has started the Maven build. So right now it is in the process of building the Docker image and then after that, it is going to go ahead and then push it. Yeah, exactly. There you go. You all can see here. It was able to log in into Docker Hub successfully. Wow. There you go, guys. The job is done. Wonderful. So if I go back to action and you can see here, it took about 34 seconds to, you know, do the entire job. Okay. So how do you verify that? Let's actually go to Docker Hub and let's go to repositories. And then there you go. You see here, a few seconds ago, the Docker image has been pushed. So you can see here, right? So this is where, you know, the image has been, you know, uploaded, right guys? So yeah, it's not really complicated, right? So yeah, so this is how guys, you know, this is how you can create a Docker image using GitHub Actions. And then that is how, you know, you would push the Docker image into Docker Hub. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it guys.